Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I haven't done like a, like a chit chat talk uh, for a while. But um, today I want to talk about um, something that's been really been helping me on my weight loss journey. And it's called Victosa. I'm going to get right to the point because I know like people don't like to hear all this long story and stuff. But for those who don't know, I mean, I've been struggling with weight problems since I was in middle school. Um, there's been times that I've been able to maintain my weight and there's times that, you know, it's just, I'm just like a Jojo, yo-yo, whatever you call it. Um, I want to share my experience because I feel so excited because it has been helping me and I'm going to put all the like, um, from the time I started and my waiting, waiting myself uh, from August 31st until yesterday I waited myself, which was September, I mean, <laughs> October 19th. So I lost overall 18 pounds. And I'm so excited because there was nothing that was really helping me. And Victosa just, like, even helped me control my my sugars. Because I have di diabetes type 2. So it helped me control my sugars. Um, so in July, my A1C, um, they check, well, they check your A1C when you're diabetic every th three months or so, I think. So my A1C was out of control. Like my sugar was out of control. My A1C was eight point something. And I'll, I'll um, screenshot so you guys can see that it's true. And then, um, so the doctor, my doctor um, referred me to a, like a specialist, like pharmacist doctor. And she was like helping me with um, monitoring me, my sugars. So I had to download this app on the, for the diabetic meter tester, and she was checking my sugars and stuff. So um, her seeing that my sugars were still like high, and you know, so she prescribed me besides met, metformin, she prescribed me some other um, pills. Um, I'll make sure I'll link. The name here so you guys know what I'm talking about oh, it doesn't know it doesn't really matter cuz I mean you probably don't even know what it is but what it is it just helps you like the metformin helps you um, helps with lowering the sugar so I have to take two bef um, before breakfast and two um, before dinner so that controls uh, my sugar for it to not be too high and stuff so, um, so then, you know, my sugars were still out of control, so then she went ahead, you know, prescribed me a new medication where, where I was still taking the other ones, the metformin, but this one, um, would help eliminate the, um, the sugar through the urine so I was so she, you know I, she said that I would be using the restroom a lot so you know that is that and so um, it was helping me like it was like it did show like that it was lowering my, my my the sugar was not as high when she's checking them my readings for um, when I poke myself and and then it shows how much my sugar levels are. So she um, she says they did go down, but it's still not where like I would like it to be. Like, and so I kind of like told her, and I had mentioned it to her before, but she wanted to try the second medication, not the metformin, but the second one she prescribed to me. She said, "Well, let's see how you do with that before we go to the Victosa." So then finally, I asked her, well, can we just give Victosa a try? Well, I I knew it as Ozempic, but I guess my hospital um, has the generic, I think it's the generic, and it's called Victosa. 
the difference from Victosa and Osampric is that Victosa you inject yourself every day and, and Ozempic is once a week my mom has Ozempic so she does it once a week so anyways I started August 34 and I weighed it myself because I wanted to see how much I would lose with the Victosa so I was at 255 so um, af and then after the next week I weighed it myself and then I went down to 245 so I lost like eight pounds or so and after that I didn't check myself for two weeks so I finally checked myself yesterday which was the uh, I keep saying September October October what is it 19 so I lost like about eight more pounds and um, so now I'm at 237 guys 237 and I think most of my weight is probably in the belly uh, <laughs> I start seeing my face when I lose weight like it's thinner so even my, my friend was like your legs look thin too she's like it's just the belly I know the belly is hard to, to lose you know I think I need to do some sit ups but anyways just wanted to show you guys give me a second so this is how the big Tulsa looks it's like a pen and then I have like some alcohol wipes swaps I'm sorry that I used before poking me and these mm -hmm. are like the needles okay they need to be refrigerated and these are all empty so um, be, so I don't know if you I don't think you guys want to know how this is done like how I pre prepare this the most important thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that it has helped me and I'm so happy I lost 18 pounds I text my doctor to tell him that I was so happy that he referred me to this doctor that you know that I lost 18 pounds from August 31st to October um, 19th and my sugars are controlled actually he sent me a, a text um, saying congratulations your sugars is controlled so my A1C was 6.8 and to be controlled to be considered my sugars to be controlled it needs to be in the range of 4.6 to 6.9 I think 6.9 so mine's on 6.8 so mine's my sugars are controlled so thanks to Victosa um, I'm doing good it suppresses my appetite like honestly honestly I do not feel hungry but um, as you can see, I do eat. For you guys that think I don't eat, I have Chinese food right here. But I'm not like craving like crazy like I was before, eating at all times. Um, I would eat, like for example, my day consists of a, maybe a bagel and coffee in the morning. Then for lunch, it, it depends. I'm not eating this all the time, you know depends for lunch I'll eat like a snack quesadilla with a Diet Coke and then in the evening I'll eat like some rice with chicken and that'll be it you know like I try not to eat past 8 or 7 I try to keep my my meals um, 7 or 8 the latest and the thing is that there's stuff that people like offer me like my kids they offer me stuff that I don't crave of anymore I'm like like come on come on just try a little bit I'm like no that's not the thing the thing is I don't crave it I don't feel like eating it you know and so um, it's totally totally like if I go without eating the whole day I don't feel that emptiness in my stomach I don't feel like god I'm so hungry I don't and then I noticed too that when I eat a meal, I can't finish it. Sometimes I'll save it for later. You know, like I'll save it for later. And the only these are some of the side effects that I've been experiencing. And then um, 
at the beginning I had a little bit of like diarrhea like constantly but I knew already those are side effects and nausea but never vomiting but my mom's taking a slumber I know she told me she vomit but those are like some of the side effects that you could have but it has suppressed my appetite it helped me lose weight proof 18 pounds I lost um, lower my sugar and I'm gonna show you all proof uh, of um, of my pictures when I weighed it myself and and then um, um, my results like from I'm gonna show you guys my results from July and my results that I just got in for my A1C so I mean I'm just so happy for Victosa I'm so happy I don't plan to be like forever on it but at least to, like I'm down to my goal and um, I go exercise after work for an hour with my friend and I'll show you guys videos when we go walking to or oh, you guys might have seen it here on the shorts where like you guys are probably like I don't care if you walk or not but that has helped me a lot too I've been drinking a little bit of more water I lessen the coffee and so let me show you this is the waters I carry here so so everything's going good uh, only bad news I got today that my doctor wants to talk to me in a couple weeks because I think my cholesterol is a little high so I think I might be put on a pill for that so I don't know but um, stay healthy and you know um, Victosa has been working for me um, so let's see how much more I lose in a couple more months thank you for watching and have a blessed blessed day July 18, 2023 and then you guys could see my A1C is out of control so I was at 8.2 now you guys can see October 9, 2023 so October 9 you can see right there 2023 and you guys could see I'm not lying so I'm at 6.80 where I'm in the green zone which is my sugars are controlled 